Hello programmers, this presentation covers exception handling as used in Java. I will be using a sample of the Paycheck program during the discussion. Exception handling is done using three keywords, try, throw, and catch. You can place a try command around a block of code that might create an error when the program is running. The same program can use a block of code attached to a catch command that will be executed if an error occurs. The throw command is used to activate the block of code attached to the catch command. The great thing about try, throw, catch is that the error can be thrown in a completely different part of the program. Let's start off by looking at a sample of the Paycheck program. It is organized in three sections, input, processing, and output. The input section has a prompt that asks the user to enter the hours worked and an input from the keyboard to read the hours. This is followed by another prompt asking for the pay rate and an input from the keyboard. Everything works fine if 40 hours worked and $20 per hour are entered. The problem arises if non-numeric data is entered for either hours or pay rate. This is because the next double scanner method is being used to read from the keyboard. Scanner throws an error and the program crashes because our code does not catch the error. Let's update the program by placing most of the code in a try block. After the try block, place a catch block to process the input mismatch exception, which is thrown when scanner detects a non-numeric input during the standard n.nextDouble method. Since scanner was not successful converting ASDF into a numeric value, the ASDF characters are still in the keyboard input buffer we need to clear them out to prevent them from causing a problem if we try to read from the keyboard again. This is done using stdin.next open close parentheses, which reads an entire line of text from the keyboard buffer. What is interesting to note here is that since the data is not being assigned to a variable of type string, that data is just lost which is what we want for now. An error message is displayed, illegal input value, and the catch block ends. So far, we have been depending on the error to be thrown by the scanner, and then our program has the catch block to process it. We can update the program even more to throw an error if a negative value is input for hours or pay rate. Scanners, stdin.nextDouble, is perfectly happy with the minus one as an input because it is definitely a numeric value. What I want this program to do is reject negative value inputs, and I will do that with a throw command inside the try block. Since a negative value is legal, the stdin.nextDouble is executed. An input of minus one would be placed in hours. The if statement can check for a negative number using if open parenthesis hours less than zero close parenthesis. When that is true, we execute the code below the if statement and throw an illegal argument exception with some text inside the parentheses. The same thing is done when reading pay rate but with a different message. Looking down at the program, we can see a second catch block. The correct catch block will be executed based on the type of error detected. When a negative 1 is input, the second catch is executed. The system.out.println retrieves the message that was passed by the throw and displays it on the screen. Let's update the program again and place the code in a loop so that we don't need to restart the program again and again each time we want to process a new paycheck. I want the program to end when the user types a Q for either hours or pay rate. I already know that an input mismatch exception will be thrown if a non-numeric value is entered, so let's have the catch block see if a Q was entered and quit the program instead of displaying an error message, illegal input. Previously, the stdin.next open close parentheses, just discarded the data typed by the user. Now I actually want to look at the data to see if it is a queue. 
If it is a queue, break out of the do while loop. Otherwise, display the error message. I'm using a Boolean variable named another employee to decide on whether or not to keep the program looping. When the variable was declared at the top of the program, it was set to true. It is being tested at the bottom of the loop. It is the code inside the catch block that sets another employee to false when a queue is entered. Let's try it out. Here's 40 hours at $20 an hour. My pay is $800. Uh -uh. I get to try again. I'll put in 40 hours and some garbage. It says illegal input value. I'll put in a minus one. It says hours must be positive. This time, instead of a total illegal input, I'll do a Q and the program is ended.